In Sanatana Hindu Dharma, Aham Brahmasmi Tatvamasi means you are already that. You are already enlightened, you are already purified and healed. There is nothing more that needs to be done other than expressing your ultimate enlightenment and purpose. However, during the intensification of the upset times of coronavirus, it will continue to be the choices we make and thought currents we follow that determine how we manifest our connection to Source Consciousness. Sanatana Hindu Dharma as a living civilization on earth has addressed every single action, every moment of life from the context of enlightenment, the need of every being. The science of how to manifest our highest purpose and how to keep us from falling into delusions, distractions and pollutions. But will we take it up? Will we dedicate? Will we stand for it? Will we revive it during these trying times and commit to reawakening the authentic source scriptures and spiritual powers in each one of us? Sri Kailasa's Hindu nation has announced a new offering for global solutions, reaching out to citizens everywhere. This week, a new global initiative will be launched to provide support and solutions during coronavirus isolations. A team of trained sannyasis as well as spiritual healers has been organized to reach out tirelessly and connect to people across the globe, either through telephone connections or video conferencing sessions. The initiative is to provide spiritual solutions and support from the Vedic Shastras. Paramashivoham.org hosts a web registration form as well as a 16-day transformational program to join the healing team and support those in need during these upset times. Important research published late last year out of the University of Copenhagen points to profound effects of implementing Vedic sciences to deal with current coronavirus threats facing the global population. Researchers showed that stress hormone and not neurons manage the fixed circadian rhythm that controls everything from sleep needs to body temperature, as reported by Daily Pioneer News. Using lab tests, the team demonstrated that the circadian rhythm is controlled by the stress hormone corticosterone. So it is our response to life that determines our physiological and psychological impact and not incapabilities of the body's neurons to fire effectively during stressful situations. What this means is that our response to life is much more important and powerful as a determinant of our body-mind-spirit reaction to stressful events. Our intention and powerful cognitions trump any physical limitations. We need to deal with the deep-rooted reactions inside the unconscious processes that impact us deeply every moment. <laughs>